Hello everyone, Simon here, and we're gonna play Open TTD. Uh, so if you don't know what this is, once upon a time, there was a game called Transport Tycoon Deluxe, hence TTD. But uh, that game is a long time ago, and it's a bit obsolete now, technologically, and so at some point, some people liked the game so much that they decided to remake the whole thing, just rewrite the whole program from scratch and make it... Uh, able to be run on modern computers. And so now we have Open TDD being an open source, uh, basically remake of Transport Tycoon Deluxe. So it's one of my uh, favorite games of all time. Well, that might be a bit, uh, it seems like a, a big claim to make. But anyway, I, I like this game. And I, I think you should play it if you're into kind of transport management games. So I'm just gonna play a new game. And uh, let me just change this to the default size of 5... I don't know, it's 256 I think is the default size. Wait a minute. Is that the default size? It seems kind of small. Uh... Crap, I had this. Hold on, let me just look this up again. Original TDD map size is... It is 256, so... Uh, I mean, you can make it up to 4096 by 496 squares. Uh, all the settings are fairly normal. I'm going to change the date to 2030. So I'm going to play a shorter game. So the game, the default game goes from 1950 to 2050. Oh, that's not right. That should be 2020. I think. Uh, wait, is it 2020? Hold on, let me just look this up again. 20 trains... Um... Yeah, 2020. So 2020 is when magnetic levitation trains become available in the game. And so I'm just going to jump right to the maglev stuff. Uh, by default, it goes from 1950 to 2050. There's no there's no real end, though. I mean, the game just kind of goes on forever. Uh, can I make this random? Map edge is random. Okay, good. And then all this other stuff is my default settings. All right, let's go. Start a new map. Uh, all right. Well, here we are. Let me look at my uh, world map. And you can you can set the game however you like, of course. It's not very big, is it? <laughs> I'm used to playing much bigger maps than this. So this is the whole game world. Mm, very interesting. Let me just go to my uh, industries. Ah, yes, very good, very good. Alright, so let's just get started. Uh, so I know how to play this game already, and so none of this is a surprise to me. Uh, but if you are new to the game, then uh, this might be completely inexplicable to you why I choose to do some of these things that I do. Alright, so I'm going to start with, I guess, transporting coal from these. These are coal mines. I can't see a thing, can you? So these these are coal mines here, look, coal mine. And... Uh, the coal goes to power plants. So this requires coal, this generates coal, you see that? Alright, good. And so uh, I, so there's a number of coal mines and a number of power plants, and I choose to take these to there, partly because this area is kind of empty, and so there's a lot of empty space for us to work with. And it's also a good distance to transport. The way this game works is that um, your profits are determined by uh, by how far you transport your goods, the type of goods and the distance you transport the goods. I'm not going to go into too much detail at this point in time. So this is our money. We can just kind of keep the money open up here, if you like. All right, so, oh, we should probably pick a... Oh, let's just get started. Probably like, um, oh, that's a good face. So let me go manage a name. My name is unpronounceable. And, uh, that's a good enough face. Oh, I need to change the color too. <laughs> I wanna... Let's see, I want my color to be... Yellow. Alright, good. Nice bright color. Bright, happy color. Okay, so here, it's a pretty small map. So the, the station length, it gives you up to 7, although you can arbitrarily make it bigger if you want to. I don't know if I want 7. 5 is uh, usually the length. So this sort of stuff, like if you played the game a lot like I have, then you would know this stuff. 
if you haven't played this game a lot, then some of the stuff just might seem strange to you. Maybe I will have it at 7. And since... So here... You see how the, the blue squares, they tell you where you can get coal from. And so having the station here will get coal from both those coal mines. Oh, it's paused. The game's paused, guys. Alright, let me just unpause and build the uh, station there. So when you first start off, you don't have any money. You have a loan. And uh, we should try to get some money in straight away. Where should I put this station? Hmm. If I put it around here, I can also take wood. But uh, you notice the ground is not flat, so I need to flatten the ground. Okay, it needs to be there to take coal. I should probably put it like... I don't really want it there, hold on, let me just put it here. If I put it here, I can't get the trees, but... Um, it'll be easier to... Uh, to expand later on, and I want to flatten this out. Let me just go to my landscaping. Just flatten all that. That's a bit extreme. But let me just go put this station there, shall we say? And we are going to probably stick to that side of the river. So let me do that. Let me do that. Let me just do a, a simple setup for now. And we will elaborate it later on. Block signal, entry signal. Okay, block signal is what we want. So uh, we want a signal. So all the stuff that I'm going to do basically is... Like this particular setup. Because I've played this game so much, this is a setup that I'm used to. And so you might look at this and you might think like, what on earth is going on? So the, you need to set your signals correctly, otherwise your trains will crash. Maybe you should play this game for yourself. You really should play this game for yourself because uh, you want to experience the fun of not really understand how, not really understanding how to build good, um, how to build good train setups or like train networks, and then having your trains crash on you, you should, you need to experience that at least once in your life because uh, it's quite amusing so let's have these tracks go beside the river I suppose the problem with playing a small map is that there's not that much room to work with alright, this seems good enough ah, uh, not enough money, alright, I need to borrow more money, let me just borrow more money and get our tracks going this way, this is good. Because we are building maglev trains, because we are jumped to um, 2020 and we're building magnetic levitation trains, the mountains don't really matter that much. If you start off playing a normal game, you would want to try to avoid the mountains because the mountains will slow your trains down. If, if the trains are less powerful than maglev trains, then they... Oh, not enough money, alright. They will slow your trains down. Uh, shortcut, control is remove. Although you can also remove stuff using the left button there. Probably shouldn't use uh, shortcuts too much because you don't know what I'm doing, right? Alright, so here I'm going to put our train depot there. Lights there. And uh, hold control, and every four blocks, it will put a signal down. So, well, I guess I don't need to explain it, because you'll see pretty soon what happens when I do this. So I'm going to go new vehicle, uh, lev 1, which costs a lot of money. Lev 1, coal truck. Uh, how long is that station? It's seven blocks, right? So... Let me go up to six and a half there. So I'm playing this game as somebody who's played this game a lot before, and so I know exactly what to expect later on in the game. And then there, we're gonna go full load. So this train... 
uh, where are we there? It's going to fill up with coal. Uh, let me just repay the loans to minimize the interest. So you see coal there and coal there. So this, this train will now gradually fill up with coal. And then uh, let me just have this, well, not this, have the train window. Oh, okay, anyway. So let me just keep this open. And uh, yeah, and so it will take coal from these two coal mines. 0% transported. 0%. Well, this doesn't really count until the end of the month. Yeah, yeah so it will take uh, coal from those two coal mines and uh, transport them to that power plant. Let me just double check a few things. Is it actually picking up the coal? So it is actually picking up the coal there. And uh, it is picking up the coal there. All right, just double checking the, uh, the limits of that. 28%, so that's going to take a while. My maximum loan is a million dollars. I've spent a little over half a million dollars making just the first track. So that's, a, that's been a bit of an issue because the money goes out pretty fast. It comes in a lot less quickly. So I also, I guess I want to take this coal and also take this coal to those power plants from here. Uh, let's see. How should I do this one? So what I can do here is, uh, wait, what's in the way? Oh, the coal mine is in the way. Okay, I can put it there. Then I'm cash. Alright, let me just borrow some more money again. And then we will... Actually, I probably should have put it further forward. So I'm going to um, have a second station. Now, the sizes of these stations basically depend on how many trains are expected to have. So there's only one train here. You might think, well, wh why do I need like double tracks and like four, four platforms if I only have one train? Well, I expect to have more trains in the future is what, is what I'm trying to... Trying to uh, anticipate, right? So if it was only one train, then I don't actually need that. Uh, Alright, so we're going to jump over there, come through there, come down here. So this goes that way. So you see how... Uh, the, can you actually see that? It's kind of small on the screen. So if I zoom in a little bit, so this, this is, uh, it goes uh, this way, it's one way. It goes, uh, we're driving on the left, we are, we're not in the United States, we're in the UK, right? So we drive on the left, basically, so we kind of come down here to merge with this line. And then on the other side, we're going to, as you might imagine, come up here and uh, split oops, split that side, and so we come up this way, up to here, let me just uh, do that, and let me just do that to add more lights there, and uh, the depot, I probably should zoom in, it's easy for you to see. Oh look, so the train is moving now. Oh, the, uh, the last one we, can probably just uh, make it a little bigger. So there we go. So remember before we built this train. So now it's traveling down there and eventually we'll get to the station. Huh. It doesn't climb the hills as easily as I thought. I thought the maglev trains were more powerful than this. That's weird. So a full load of coal, actually I should probably... A full load of coal arrives in Tunfingwei Valley. And uh, watch the green number that comes up here. And that earns us $92,000.
for one load of coal, right? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So let me just check what's going on here. You'll notice there's more coal here. Ratings outstanding 88%. So what I usually want to do is have two trains. Uh, actually, no, I don't. Not at this point, though, because I don't have the money. Usually, I would want, have, want to have two trains uh, per station, at least. So that, because the, the way they calculate, uh, let me just make a, the way they calculate the, the, the way they calculate how much the, uh, the local companies like you, the local, uh, suppliers like you is how much of their goods actually gets transported. Uh, oops, the full load there. So, if, there's a second train there, they would like you more because there's always something there picking up the goods. So the ratings here are 90% outstanding. Uh, outstanding means it's just a description. So our rating is 91%. So they're 91% happy with our services right now, which is uh, good for us. And as long as there's something there picking up the, uh, the goods, the, the rating will keep going up to a point. So 93 is pretty amazing. Uh, so if I could afford another train, I would try to have a train there at all times, except Maglevs are pretty fast. So if you're playing this game normally, starting from the year 1950, you'd start off with some pretty slow trains, and, and it, the, the train wouldn't get back in time, basically, to, to uh, pick up the load. And so this thing, as you wait for the train to slowly travel across the map and back again, this rating would just go down uh, precipitously, and that would be bad for business. But it's okay for now. It's okay for now. So we don't need all these windows open. I'll just keep this window open to make sure that this train doesn't uh, get lost or something. Because that can happen. Your trains can get lost. I don't know how I want to do the rest of this. So there are there are simple ways and there are complicated ways to to make train networks. So at the moment we have a specific track that serves three coal mines and and one power plant. And but you know most of the time the track doesn't have any trains on it. And so conceivably we can make our network so that other trains use the same tracks. Uh, the problem with that sort of setup is that you have to be more careful about how you set up the, the tracks to make sure everything works. And of course it's, it's more complicated and it costs more money, but then it's more it's more effective in the long run. I mean, we could like make like a loop around the whole map and then have everything run on the loop. But that seems a little... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. The problem with playing on a small map is that there's really not enough space on the map for you, for you to do anything really interesting. Also, there's no money so far, and so we need to wait for these trains. So there's another load there. Wait, what? Why? No, come on. All right, so this is this is why we need to pay attention to this stuff. Okay, there were missing tracks there for some reason. I guess I just didn't put them in. So that that's why you need to uh, keep an eye on this stuff. And this is what I mean when I say you should play the game for yourself and have your trains fail every now and then, so you can experience the joy of. Uh, Building bad networks <laughs> and then having your trains fail on you. <laughs> it's quite interesting.